James Stavolsky and Ray Ferraro for EA Sports. Looking forward to this one tonight. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Americans take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. From the point! Takes that pass back at the point. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. The Cougars have it against the wall. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Here's a chance. He scores! And they're on the board. Not everybody's been on the ice yet. And we've already got a goal on the board. Oh, he tried to flash the leather there. I guess he flashed it. He just didn't catch anything but a cold. Prince George has got the game's first goal, and it didn't take long. They wanted to attack quickly, and now that they're on the road and they've got the lead, they can dictate the pace. Was he just stealing the Kuznetsov goal celebration? Isn't yeah, that supposed to be like the greatest form of flattery? You, you Imitation? Steal, yeah, yeah, you steal somebody else's thing. It's too soon. Really, yeah, I don't know, but have some fun. You scored a goal. And he comes up with it. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Back underway as he wins the draw and scores! Bang, bang, two goals and right around a minute 40. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. Well, that was quick. The puck hits the ice, and in a second and a half, it's in the net. Face-off win, one-timer. Nobody catches up to the puck. And now it's grabbed by Hatcher. Icing is the call. We'll get a reset. Prince George has got a hold of the puck. Oh, he digs in and wins the draw there. Now they can get out of the zone. Sends it down low. Hello! James, Keep your I head honestly up, feel the boards rattle when those hits are on my side of the ice. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. The Cougars will serve two minutes in the box. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. Power play and penalty kill go a long way to determining what your team's going to be like. This is the power play's first chance to see if they can get on the board. That's off a stick. Prince George has got the puck along the wall. Scores! A short-handed goal! Well, you're just trying to kill the penalty off. This is terrific work as they take advantage of a little bit of a bobble and they go ahead and capitalize shorthanded. Wow, that screen looked like it was just about perfect, didn't it? He doesn't even react as this puck goes by him. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Nice job tying up his opponent. Can't get it to go. Slides it quickly to Fowler. Oh, my goodness, what a hit. He's such a high-effort player. I mean, he's banged up here, James, but he's still trying to finish this shift, though. The Americans played along the boards. Can't get a hold of that pass. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Still lots of time left in the period. 
Prince George has been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Last call here on this man advantage. Yeah, the power play's got to get the puck up the ice with a little bit of urgency. The Americans certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. Well, now they got a bigger hole to dig out of. They give up the shorthanded goal, a sloppy power play, and they pay for it. And that one flies over the net. And now he passes up to Colton. Eric pass, and they can't connect. And that's broken up. Grabs the puck. And now it's over to Thunderbug. Pass to Fowler. Grabs the puck at center. Biscuit knees has it in the defensive end. Thunderbug's got the puck now in his own end. Oh, and you buttmasters like just that. getting rocked. Colton's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. And now he tries to get it across to Hatcher. Not a great penalty anytime, but when you're getting pumped like this, it's no good. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. First chance of the night for the power play. The guys are pretty excited to get out there and see if they can get on the board. Prince George has got it in the offensive zone. Here's a chance to set up now. Fitz is able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Great reach with the poke check by Fowler. The Cougars take it along the wall. And the lane's blocked up blocking that. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. From the right side, they gain the zone. Textbook stop by Gursky. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Washington's won the faceoff. Big time stop with the glove. Thunderbugs recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Poked away in the defensive end. Keeps hold of the puck. McKee's taking it from his own end. Well, the power play melts away. They don't get anything on it. I don't think it's particularly important because they've got such a nice lead here. They just want to run the clock out. Past the midway mark of the frame, Prince George has got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. Washington's won the draw. Couldn't complete the pass. Pitts has got it behind the net. Pass back to the point. Denies him on the slapper. Here in the late going of the frame, 3-0 is the score. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Prince George has got it in the neutral zone. Puck picked up by Hatcher. And they won't connect on that one. Fowler's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. She can't believe she's getting called for tripping here, but... Really, her stick got tied up in her opponent's feet. That's a call. The Americans send their man advantage unit out once more. Power play jumps onto the ice here, and they'll remember the shorthanded goal they gave up to kind of remind themselves just to make sure everybody's in the right spot. Here's a short pass to Fowler. Prince George has got the puck along the boards. Washington's looking to break out of their own end. Puck grabbed by Fowler. Looking to clear the defensive zone. And they do just that. I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. And no luck on that pass attempt. Blocked in front. What a great example of unending pressure. Hatcher's ready to go. The Americans fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Always frustrating for the power play when they go back to the bench and don't have anything to show for it. Fitz is carrying it ahead. Back to the point it goes.
excellent stick work on the play. And that pass can't connect. And not much on that one. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. Period number two underway here has been an absolute mismatch through the first 20 minutes. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Prince George has had their own way with this game right from the time the puck hit the ice the first time. They've had the puck, they have shots, they have chances. They've got a nice lead so far. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. 3-0 is where we sit. Prince George has got it, and they're on the attack. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Great reach with the poke check. Prince George has got a hold of it against the wall. Stop the Sorry for ease. messing up the lettuce. Thunderbugs moving the puck through his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Fisher. Scores! What a finish! Like the little engine that could! It's, it's really amazing, James, to watch this play. And you never really think of all the work that goes into making a player good or making them special. You work on balance and agility, you saw it right there. Fight the puck all the way to the net, and it's in the back. Fowler's got it across the line. Prince George has got the puck inside the defensive zone. Grabs it at his own end. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. He scores! I believe a colleague of ours likes to call those back to back. Yeah, the coaches want you to stay aggressive after you score. They do that, and they're able to put another one up on the board. James, watching this a second time, I'm amazed at how close he can get to the net, yet still be able to deliver this puck as accurately he does. One of the best shooters in the league, this tight to the net. Prince George has got it along the wall. Fails to find the open man. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Let's it fly from the point! Big time stop there. Goalies are always trying to get better at this. Making the save, but getting the rebound into the corner. Fitz has got it in the offensive zone. And they keep the pressure on. And that's picked off in front. Moves it to Thunderbug. And called for the offside. We'll get a face off. Fitz is great at generating offense, but it all comes down to that first touch. His magnetic zone ability lets him settle down those bouncing pucks and not let them bobble on him. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Colton's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a shot. Turns it aside. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Washington's trailing by one. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Washington's looking to break out. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a chance. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. 
Uses the boards with the bank pass. Sends the pass over. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Here's a shot! Answers the call with a big save! Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. More than half the period has expired. The Cougars are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Quick pass to Fisher. Sends a pass over. Whoa! He scores! Pushing him over. It's like trying to shove over a cement mixer. Great balance. Too powerful. And at the end of the day, he gets into position to score the goal, too. Prince George has won the draw. And here's a pass to Fitz. Can't connect on the pass. Made the stop on the play. Fowler's got it against the boards. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle. And here's the call. Man, he skated halfway across the rink, James. There's no way to even complain about this charging penalty. Another scoring opportunity looms here. Just because the power play hasn't had a success run here, you can't focus in on that. You can't try to do too much. Move the puck the way that you practice. Get people to the front of the net. It's really a simple equation. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Fisher's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Washington's won the draw. That's blocked. Washington's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. You get one, you want to think about a second one. It doesn't matter if you're at home or on the road. When you do this on the road, you feel a great accomplishment. And there's the one hat that he gets for scoring on the road. He's just so accurate from that distance, guys. It's his close quarter superstar ability, and he can do some damage when he gets in tight to the net like that. Sticks into it! Just wide! The Americans have time for one last rush here on this power play. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Across the line and on the attack. Here's a chance on the doorstep. Both teams back to even strength and after giving up a shorthanded goal, it's an opportunity the power play unit would probably sooner forget. Well, that doesn't go according to plan. The power play's done and they've given up a shorty. Those are always deflating. Here in the later stages of this period, Prince George has got a one-goal lead. Fisher's won it. Moves the puck. Quick feed to Fisher. Biscuit knee scoops it up here inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Fowler. Offside the call will get a reset. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And not much on that one. There it is, they score! Johnny on the spot, he tucks in the rebound. The rebound snaps. 
knocked away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. That pass doesn't go. And here's a pass to Fisher. Slides the puck down low. And a stiff break set up. Prince George has got possession of the puck. A chance in front. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Fowler's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. Prince George has won the draw. They'll go to work. Jabs the puck away. On the wraparound. Oh. That's close, James. The goaltender ends up beating the shooter to the post. As that's a, that looks like it's a goal, but it's shut down. And there's the horn bringing it into period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Washington's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. Slides the puck over. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Takes the feed. Can't connect. Oh, you button masters just getting and couldn't rocked. find the intended receiver on that one. Oh, what a stop! And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Fisher's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the face-off. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Follows up and ready to join the play. The Cougars can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play. But 80% of the time, you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. That's a textbook save by Gursky. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 5-3 is where we sit. George has got it in the defensive zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Colton's going to play it from the back of the cage. Fisher's lugging the puck. Rocks him. Great read with the stick. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Passes ahead from the right side. We've got icing on the play. Face-off coming up. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Prince George has got a two-goal cushion here. They lead it 5-3. Fitz is taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here's the official call. 
That's an easy one, James. That's a trip every time. The Cougars once again send out their power play unit. Power plays go up and down. That's just the way they are. But when you haven't been successful, you've got to reload, refocus, and get to work on that next one. Prince George has got the puck behind the net. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Man, they're back in their own zone again on the power play. They've got to be a little more urgent getting the puck up the ice and into the zone. They don't even have a shot on net on this power play. Prince George has got the puck. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Into the corner now. Man advantages up. Both teams back to even strength. Pretty hard to have a more low-intensity power play than that. It really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate much, you're sure not going to score. Fowler's got it along the wing. And that's picked off. Trying to dump it out, and clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Puck scooped up by Fowler. Steps inside the line. Strong defensive effort. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And he makes the save. Quick oh, feed down low. Oh, And they are on a roll now, Razor. You can start to see this game's going to run away if the goal scoring doesn't slow down here. Well, the goaltender thinks he's got the whole net covered. This beats him just inside the post. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Good read with the stick to break that up. Love the defensive effort to get in front of that. Colton's got it along the boards. Taken along the wall by Fowler. Right to the middle. Off a stick and they can't connect. Prince George has got the puck in the defensive end. Takes the feed. Receives the pass. The Americans gain possession. There's the whistle icing the call. Gets dropped, and we are back underway here. Picks up the puck in his own end. Here we go. Hot man rush here. And that shot dies in traffic. Bank pass off the boards. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. The Cougars have it in the offensive zone. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. And now he angles Whoa. it across to Hatcher. He scores! Sometimes it's just your night. He's got his second goal of the game. This is a good evening for him. Prince George's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forechecked. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Couldn't connect on that pass. Nice bank pass off the boards. Washington's got the puck along the wall. The Cougars scoop it up along the boards. Play whistle dead as the puck goes into the bench, and I think that woke up a few players. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Prince George has got possession here in their own end. Whoa! Here is it for the goal! Guess they didn't need that power play. I guess not. They were really attacked the front of the net. They 
beat the goaltender, and now they'll lose the power play, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Take the goal. Washington's back at center ice, and they have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scorers out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. Moves it quickly over to Fisher. Prince George has got a hold of it along the wall. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Slides it to Fisher. Washington's got it along the wall. And just out of arm's reach on the play. And that slides right out to center ice. Great burst of speed to come up with it. And here's the pass to Fisher. Penalty coming up here. Well, they played well for 59 and a half minutes, and so they're in a good spot. But this penalty is just a little bit of a roadblock. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Vince is going to play the puck behind the cage. Strong. And there's a nice stop. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Slides it across to Fowler. Wrist shot from the slot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Gursky's had a really easy night here, James. I don't know how it could be much easier than this. And it is all over with this one. Ray simply put in this one, dominant. Yeah, coaches love this, too, because they get to play their whole bench, spread everybody out, and the best part is when you go back to the locker room, everybody feels like they had a part of this blowout win.
Want to unlock some cool gear? Well, the best way to do that is just by playing more games and earning more experience. Hey everyone, it's Carlin here reminding you to get more games in so you can get rewarded. I'll see you on the ice.
This should be a fun one on the ice tonight. Hi, friends. Welcome back to EA Sports. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Stavolsky. Looking forward to this. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The Blazers take possession here on the opening draw and we are underway. Quick pass across to Kidd. Great defensive effort with the stick. And they won't connect on that one. Tries to get the puck to Fisher. That pass doesn't go. Taken by Taves. Here's a short pass to Kidd. Fowler stick handling in his own zone. Great defensive play at center by Sandine. That's not going to fool him. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. And with the two centers tangled up, scores! Take warning! This puck changes directions pretty significantly here as it bounces off the defender and goes in. With his close quarter superstar ability, he got in tight to the crease and put that one in. That's a solid goal, guys. Washington's won it. Slides it on over to Fisher. Pass right on the doorstep. Moves it over to Thunderbug. Can't get it to go. Kamloops has it in their own zone. Moves the puck across to Sandine. And they'll go the other way with it. The Americans have been really impressive defensively tonight. Their reads, their jump on the play has resulted in a number of stolen pucks. Playing big in the moment there. And that's deflected. And now it's grabbed by Fowler. Grabs it and rips it. And that's broken up. Taves takes the puck. Looks to make oh. a play over to Sato. Dumps it into the other end. The Americans have it now. Biscuit Knees plays it now. Moves it to Fisher. Aaron pass and they can't connect. And there we go. Icing is the call. Still lots of time left in the period. The Blazers lead it 1-0. Fisher's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And he got right over top of that one. That's a big face-off win for him. With the stop. Savage is going to hang on here for the whistle and stoppage of play. It's a good thing he does because you haven't mentioned his name and I don't know how long. The play's been at the other end of the ice forever. Savage is an impressive and actually graceful goalie. He knows how to slide well down to make the save. That mobility is his butterfly effect zone ability. And sends it just out of reach. Long pass into the neutral zone. And they cough it up at center. Kane's dangerous, and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. The Americans will play it from the defensive zone. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. Kamloops gets the puck near the boards. Feeds it over to Kane. Couldn't complete the pass. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And no luck on that pass attempt. Moves the puck along the half wall. Broken up by Sato. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Taken by Taves. Takes the feed into the middle of the ice. Here's a 
Scores! That's back to back, Ray. Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. Now, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. Kamloops with a back-breaking goal here late in period number two. That's a crippler for the opposition. Now they trail by two, as you mentioned. Trailing by two at this part of the game. With scores! They are on fire! They didn't over move the puck. They didn't make one extra pass. When it got into the shooting spot, it was delivered into the net. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Kamloops really applying the pressure offensively up by three. Puck picked up by Kane. Stays with it. And the puck banks off the glove. Washington's gained possession along the boards. All quick work with the stick and comes up with the puck. Fails to find the open man. Smart defensive play to tap it away. Slides the puck across to Fowler. Stoppage in play offside the call. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Kamloops has dominated to this point. They lead it 3-0. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. And now it's grabbed by Fowler. Gaining momentum up along the side. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. And a good heads-up defensive play in the open ice. Quick pass to Fisher. And things start to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Sends it over. You'll need more than that to beat him. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. The Blazers take possession off the faceoff. Blocked in traffic. Play the out. It's a two-on-one. Poked away by Kane. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Between the benches, I'm James Sabolski. Period number two is about to get underway. A one-sided affair after the first 20 minutes. Here we go for period number two. Puck knock 
loose in the neutral zone. Centered out in front. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. We see goaltenders in this butterfly practicing it every day. Positioning, keeping their arms tight, making sure that they... Scores! Had about as much room as a phone booth. I don't even know if they make those anymore, but what a goal! I don't think they do, James, but he's in close quarters. He has no room really to maneuver, but he does not miss very often from there. That's a great shot. His close quarters zone ability makes him so good from that range, guys. When you let him near the net with the puck, this is what he can do with it. And wow, what a goal from him. Picked up along the wall by Sato. Nice pass back. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. And now he moves it to Fowler. Handles the puck. Comes up with the stop. Quick feed to Taves. Couldn't catch up to that pass. And we'll reset things after that icing. Sandine's effective at stick checking and playing solid D in his own end, guys. His stick em up zone ability means he can use his twig to disrupt attackers. Takes possession off the draw. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. And that's off a stick. Grabbed along the board by Sandine. Washington's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Through center along the wing. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Fowler's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. For shots of the night for the power play, the guys are pretty excited to get out there and see if they can get on the board. Washington's got it in the offensive zone. And that's knocked away by Sato. One time last. Comes up with a stop. And that's just out of reach. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Kidd. They're wearing down the other team's defense with this cycle in the offensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Flailing at it with a stick to try to get control. Dishes it to Fowler. Poked away at center by Taves. And they clear that puck. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The man advantage is over. Well, the only thing that happened on that power play was the clock rolled along. Very few chances, not much danger. Comes up with a big pad save to deny. Washington's got control of it now from their own end. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Washington's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Thunderbug. And that pass can't connect. Washington sliding the puck behind the net. Takes the pass. Sends the pass down low. And here comes the pushback. Fowler's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. Tries to the crease. Can't get it to go. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Fisher's been looking for a way off the ice for a little bit of time on this ship. He was injured somewhere in the midst of it. He wants to get off the ice. More than half the frame has been played here. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Stop that one. Maintains possession. Tries to get the puck over to Sandine. And serves up a little knock on the play. Unable to reach that one. Move to the middle, and they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Nice pass. Kamloops has the puck. Now over to Kidd. Smart defensive play there. Scooped up along the wall by Sato. Sends the pass over. Icing is the call. We'll get a reset.
late goings of this period. Crowd's been into this one right from the get-go. It's 3-1. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Washington's got the puck. Slides it diagonally to Thunderbug. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Sato. And he regains control of the puck. He scores! Oh, the one-timer! Beautiful! It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. He's known for being so strong on the puck, guys, and it's his unstoppable force zone ability that helps him maintain possession before getting an assist on that last play. Great job by him on making that happen. Passes the puck over to Taves. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Kamloops has possession of it now. Great heads up play to poke it away at the offensive end. And he denied it's that opportunity. Scores! This is a terrific move by the goal scorer here. He drives around the back of the net. you got to have a little courage because you don't know what's coming back down the slot. And he gets to the post and tucks it in. I've seen him do this a number of times, James, where he makes that fake, yet doesn't lose sight of where everything else is on the ice. He gets in on the net and doesn't miss. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Here we go. Put up a shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? The Blazers' offense is clicking in high gear tonight. They have scored so often. You'd think this game would be comfortable, but it's not. Oh, it's a little too much on it, and it sails high. Uh, he got a lot, of, a lot on the shot, and he's in good position, but he just shoots it up over top of the net. Picked up along the boards by Sandine. Sends a pass over. And that's poked away. Makes the save. There's a trademark there. He's not going particularly fast, but he has this way of finding open ice going to the net. I don't know how he does it, but there's another scoring chance. up the puck here looking to set up offensively tries to squeeze on through but that doesn't happen and that's defended perfectly nowhere to go Savage is going to hang on for a whistle here in the third well there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes the game's close a mistake now would be critical inching closer to the midway mark of the period 4-2 is the score oh how did that stay out what a toe stop on the play Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. The Americans will go to work here in the offensive zone. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Moves it quickly over to Fowler. Kamloops looks to break out in their own end. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Can't connect on the pass. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. And here's a pass to Fisher. And that's stolen in the offensive zone. Moves the puck. And he totally whiffs on that one. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle.
And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. And that's knocked away by Taves. Washington's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Fisher. Pushes it across to Thunderbug. Taken along the wall by Fowler. Kamloops looks to get things going now with the puck. And that one's broken up. Feeds it on over to Biscuit Knees. Dishes it to Fowler. Intercepted the pass. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kane. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Oh, look at this chance. Taves is on the attack. Manages to hang on. Washington's looking to break out of their own end. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Kamloops gains control of the puck. Oh, and I'm sure they'd like a redo on that. Now, lots of work and nothing for it as they don't get the puck on goal. Fowlers. Here comes the pushback. Sandine's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Washington's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. The way you drive a power play is get one puck at the front of the net, but then you back it up with multiple efforts. How did he stop that one? I thought they worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but not to be. Fowler's on the ice, and he knows his team is trailing here. If he can use his zone ability to turn things around for them, that could be the answer that they're looking for, guys. Moves right to the middle, and he can't find his man. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. Washington's got a five on three and lots of time on their side. Not often you get a five on three of this length. You can score early, you might be able to get two. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. They get it out of the defensive end. Slides it over to Fowler. Couldn't find the intended target. Moves it to Fowler. Big save. Denied by the goaltender. Kids got it in the defensive end. And they managed to clear it. Sends it quickly to Mackey. Tries to get it over to Fisher. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Great read on the block. The Americans looking against the half wall. Sandine's out of the sin bin and joins the penalty kill here. Page jumps up. The penalty's almost over. That'll do it for the man advantage. Phenomenal penalty kill performance on that one. Oh, there's one more! Sliding across in the butterfly covers most of the bottom of the net. There's nowhere for the puck to go. Right in front! Too much congestion blocks the shot. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. Under a minute to go in the third. In the final moments of this period, Kamloops enjoying a two-goal lead. It's 4-2. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Feeds it down low. Washington's going to... He scores! Deuce is wild for him now. Well, that makes your night. I'll tell you, it's great to score one. You get a second one. It's such a rush. Thinking had he yet? Oh, he should be. I mean, he's got two in the bag already. I'll tell you one guy that would be thinking had he. Me. Washington's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so... Surmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. Broken up with a stick. We've got icing on the play. Face off coming up. A 
A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Washington's won the draw and they'll go to work. Those face-offs after icings are important. Now you've got the puck and they're a little tired. Sato's got the puck in his own zone. Can't find his man. Quick pass to Fisher. And they can't connect. Oh, and he'll be shaking his head on that as they were so close. Nice zone entry from the right side. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Nothing doing. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. Knocked away by Sandine. Kamloops gets a hold of the puck against the boards. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. Well, and as we put a bow on this one, they called upon the Thunder, and they got it literally here. Well, man, James, they, they challenged these guys to a match. It didn't work out any way the way they thought it was going to, and they take the L.
big here with you in the world of Chell. Whether you call it a toque or a beanie, you can wear your favorite piece of headgear out on the ODRs to keep you warm and stay in style. It's ticking, baby. You can say what you want while I'm listening, baby. Yeah, we've been down for a long time. So, why you trying to press rewind? No, talk sweet, but you can save it. Yeah, I know your little miss bet best behavior. Uh, I ain't running back this time. So, why you trying to press rewind? Listen to this. I'm the litmus, baby. They be imitating. G O A T like Brady. Game's amazing. Nice these ladies. Yeah, I know you want it. You so stuck up on it. Please proceed with caution. Get in line, cause everybody wants me. Everybody wants me. And you know it too, don't you? <laughs> when I'm rocking all eyes on me. Yeah, everybody wants me. Yeah, I bet you mad, cause everybody. Girl, you've been talking so loud. Better take my name out your mouth. Like AIM, I'm locked out. Now stop. And run it back. I'm the litmus, baby. Yeah. They be imitating. G O A T like Brady. Oh. Game's amazing. Nasty ladies. Yeah, I know you want it. You so stuck up on it. Please proceed with caution. Get in line, cause everybody wants me. Everybody wants me. When I'm working all eyes on me. You mad cause everybody wants me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know that too, girl. Your friends, your mother, your sister. I'm pretty sure your man's watching me too, so you might want to check that. Carlin 
back here with you in the world of Chell, and I think we need to take a moment to celebrate all of the hockey hair out there. I've seen some incredible flow out on the ice, including some well-groomed mullets. You all look great. You can smell the anticipation in the air for this one. Hi, everybody, along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski for EA Sports. You ready for a game tonight? Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. The Chiefs start with possession as we are now underway. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Skilly. McKee's got the puck. And they won't connect on that one. Easily turned aside. And the goaltender's not going to like that one as he scores, putting it into his own net. Washington's first goal has completely silenced this home crowd. Everybody's expecting a quick start from the home team when it doesn't happen. Everyone, fans and players, are back on their heels a bit. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Passes over to Savage. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. Oh, he got oh. clobbered. Man, did he ever. And to make matters worse, he's got a stick knocked out of his hands. Now he's got to go chase the twig down. Washington's got possession here in the offensive zone. Oh, it serves up a little too sweet with that save. Oh, he's going to shake his head at that one. He always seems to... And they score! And we've seen this act before, Racer. You get in that close, and he's got the puck. Good night. He doesn't miss from there. He doesn't need too many chances from in here. You get this tight to the net with a shot that accurate, you're going to score a lot of goals. He's so good when he gets near the net like that, guys. That's his close quarter zone ability, and he made a great shot to get one past the goaltender. Slides the puck over. And that's off a stick. Puts it up front, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Americans pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Poked away in the offensive end. Gives them a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. She still doesn't like the call, James. But it's pretty obvious to me that that's a two-minute minor. And, hey, the door's already open. Spokane's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Power play and penalty kill go a long way to determining what your team's going to be like. This is the power play's first chance. We'll see if they can get on the board. Picked up along the wall by Kidd. Bumped off the puck. Spokane's on the attack. Here's the clearing attempt. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Takes the feed. Puts it towards the net. 
Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a faceoff. Fisher's gliding in for the faceoff as this penalty kill will continue. The Chiefs win the draw. Puck grabbed by Fowler. They go on the attack from the left side. Fires it into the offensive zone. This is training camp for you, buddy. There's a little anger in that hit. I mean, he had him closed off. He could have just eased him in, but he lowered the boom. Kids ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. He's looking for a dance partner. Yeah, he looks like he wants somebody, anybody to, to engage with. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Washington's looking to break out. Takes the feed up ahead. Washington's got the puck against the half wall. The Chiefs have it from their own end. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Slides the puck over to Fowler. Play is called for offside. Still lots of time left in the period. 2-0 is the score. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Oh, hello! Comes up with the puck with a quick steal. Nice flick of the stick. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Maggie's got that send it zone ability, which is his signature long breakout pass that he uses to spring his teammates up the ice, guys. It's been known to be the perfect assist. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Fisher. That pass doesn't go. The Chiefs gain possession. Oh, what a smart heads up play. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Moves it quickly over to Savage. And they'll go the other way with it. The Americans have it against the wall. Now that's a great hands up in the defensive zone to boost the turnover. Beautiful 360 with the puck. Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and score. Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. Guys, his stick handling was key in getting that assist there. That's his puck on a string zone ability, and he was able to open things up and create that chance for them. Some good stick work to force that turnover. And offside, we'll get a reset here. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Spokane has shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Grabs the puck. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Nice dish from the left wing. On the one-timer. Centering pass. And that's picked off in front. Pass it up ahead. Sends it across. And there's the save. Oh, getting a little cheeky there. Kid's not so sure about the weight class here. He says no thanks. Tempers flaring. Yeah, a little bump together, a little friction. Looks like the guys want to get it going. Here in the late going of the frame, Washington's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Spokane's got the puck in the defensive end. And that pass is redirected. Slides the puck ahead to Fisher. Spokane's got control of it now from their own end. There's the whistle icing the call. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Can't get it to go. Here's the chance to wow. set up now. He scores! The captain leading by example! A 
I love this, James. I mean, this is kind of what I did. You get into close quarters here. That puck's got to go quick into the net. He fired that puck so accurately from in tight, and that's his close quarter superstar ability, guys. If you let him get near the net, he can really do some damage. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. Spokane's got the puck against the boards. Takes the feed. Big save in front. Quick hands. Not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. Kids won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. And he's able to handle that one. And they'll go on the attack after that turnover. Aaron pass and they can't connect. And with the buzzer, that puts the bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next right here. Here in this second period is about set to go. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Washington's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Fowler. He scores! Sometimes it's just your night. He's got his second goal of the game. This is a good evening for him. A quick flick of the wrist, and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. Washington's on cruise control now. Is that fair to say? It is, and it looks like they're going to try and get another couple of goals here. They're not letting down at all. Grabs the puck at center. With possession along the wall. And they can't convert to the play. Puck sent over to Fowler. And this is training camp for you, buddy. Biscuit knees. Inside the offensive zone, takes the pass from along the boards. And a great save! Receives the pass. Oh, these are the... Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Let's get the call. Man, you can almost feel the frustration oozing out of the players here. They're down a bunch. They take another penalty. This can't get over quick enough. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. You want to win the special teams battle almost every night. Well, the power play's first chance to check in here. We'll see what they can get done. Spokane's got possession of the puck. And that pass goes off a stick. To the front! And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. I almost can't believe he didn't score from there. I bet on him from that close. Can't get a hold oh, of you pass. button masters just get a rock. He's been called out. Fisher's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Washington's got the puck along the wall. Look at right him! And just a good old fashioned solid body check on the play. Savage's time is almost done. Moves it to Thunderbug. They don't score on the power play, but they accomplish. A little bit here. They melt some time off the clock. They don't need the goal, but they don't want to make any big mistakes. Quick pass to Savage. Right out in front. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Odd man rush. To his teammate. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. Washington's grabbed a hold of the puck. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Gets a hold of the puck wow. here in his own end. Takes the puck behind the net. 
And that one's broken up. Washington's got the puck. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Oh, it looked like he took a big hit there. Let's get another look at that. I, I think he's shaking up. Awashisha's leadership is often by example, not so much with some great speech in the locker room. They need action now. They've got to get back in this game, and the captain's going to have to lead them to it. On the attack along the boards. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Couldn't complete the pass. And sends it just out of reach. Picked off in the offensive end. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Grabs it in his own end. Headman pass. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Thunder Bugs had a great game. He's already got three points and really been dynamic. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. This penalty just piles on top of the bad play that's put this team in the hole that they are. A long night is getting longer. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Cross corner dump in. Chopping away at it. Spokane's got a hold of the puck. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Charlevoix's no different than anybody else tonight. I mean, that's a good stop that he makes, but he hasn't been very good, and the team has played rather poorly. The Chiefs. Oh, you button mass is just getting rocked. Sends it over to Biscuit Knees. Spokane's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Oh, he ripped that right after the whistle. What's he thinking? Savage has done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. Past the midway mark in this period, and it's been a pretty one-sided affair to this point. It's 4-1. From the neutral zone now. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Well, no go on that power play. They were able to move the puck around, and I guess at times it looked dangerous, but just nothing really going on the power play. They let that one slip through their fingers. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Trying to exit the defensive zone. Not this is training camp for you, line. buddy. Yeah, no, try harder. Get it out. And no luck on that pass attempt. Quick feed to Savage. Handles the puck. He scores! They've given themselves a little bit of a chance here. James just opened the door for a little light. Can they find another one to really make it close? Something to build on, right, Razor? You just got to have something to believe in. This is it. This is a power player here, James. They try to shove him offline, push him out of the way, but he floors the shoulder, pulls his way into position past the defender, and then creates the chance that ends up in the goal. Washington's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Thunderbug. And that pass attempt is deflected. Takes the pass. Awashish is stick handling in his own zone. Can't connect. He grabs the puck here at the point. And that's picked off. Fowler's got the puck along the wing. Great pressure with the stick. Takes a hit on the play. Second period. This is training camp for you, buddy. Here. Spokane's got a hold of the puck now. Things starting to get a little physical out there. Nice pass. And that was stopped. Right. Oh, they do it again. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next.
They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Ferro. I'm James Cebulski. Let's do this. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who was at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? The Chiefs continue to be clear. He scores! Aye, aye, captain! Quick hands are the money makers right tight to the net. He doesn't miss once he gets in there. He was able to score because he used his superstar ability to his advantage, guys. That's just another way he can create offense for this club. Here's a short pass to Kidd. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Feeds the puck over to Fowler. Thunderbug's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. The Chiefs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Biscuit Knee scoops it up here inside the defensive zone. From the boards, he takes that pass. Denies him on the play. The Americans have it behind the net. And now it's over to Fowler. And that's knocked away. Fisher's got it in the defensive zone. Takes control of the puck. Made the stop on that play. As he slides in the butterfly, he's in great shape to make this save. Going after that loose puck by any means necessary. Moves it on over to Thunderbug. And that's poked away by Kidd. Spokane's got it in their own zone. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. This is training and camp for you, buddy. Awashish is looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. And that's knocked aside with the stick by Fowler. And he makes the save on that play. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Can connect! Move! Rocks him on the play. Slammed hard against the wall. That's a 50-yard dash and a 25-yard gym. Puck picked up in the open ice. Skilly's got it in the offensive zone. What a stop. Yeah, that's a race to the post. The goalie wins it there. Gets the pad flat to make the save. Sends the pass over. And that's a great read to force the turnover. Spokane is trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves it to Fisher. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Just because the power play hasn't had a success run here, you can't focus in on that. You can't try to do too much. Move the puck the way that you practice. Get people to the front of the net. It's really a simple equation. Front of it. Spokane's penalty killers get a hold of it. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And he easily stops that one. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. Kids ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Steps in and takes the puck. There's another for the hit parade. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Turns it over. Oh, well, you bust the push back. They're going to drop the gloves. Yeah, it's after a big hit. This challenge is issued. He's going to have to answer for it. Ray, it looks like they're not done with each other down there. No, they're going to bark at each other on the way to the penalty box, but into the box they go. Time to sit down. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Each team playing with four men, and that means that you're going to have a defenseman jumping into the play. If they don't get a good chance, you know the other team will. Great reach with the poke check. Their man's now out of the box, and they'll take advantage on the power play. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Cuts to the front. Scores! Had about as much room 
was a fault. I don't even know if they make those anymore, but what a goal. I don't think they do, James, but he's in close quarters. He has no room really to maneuver, but he does not miss very often from there. That's a great shot. His calling card is his accuracy of shot. Now, if you can get in this close and still deliver it this accurately, you're going to score a lot of goals. Feeds the puck to Savage. Right in the slot. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Quick pass to Martinez. Big time defensive play. Grabbed along the boards by Kidd. The Chiefs have it behind the cage. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Martinez. Can't catch up to the pass. And the puck clears the zone. The Chiefs' man advantage comes to an end and not the result they were looking for, giving up a shorty. They're not going to be too thrilled when they get a look at the film on that. Stop! He did it! He did it! say other than it's one of the most incredible accomplishments you could ever imagine at one point you're wondering are you going to be a player that can score consistently to now when you say you're among the very best to ever think about playing this game the Chiefs win possession here in the open ice shuts them down half of the goals in this league are scored from directly in front of the net that doesn't happen with a save like this Right on the doorstep, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Here we go, it's a two-on-one! one-timer he wants it off his front foot and when it's delivered there he hammers it by the goalie guys the setup was there and he launched that powerful one-timer right to the back of the net that's just one key superstar ability and it's something you've got to watch out for centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again Washington's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. It's a chance on the rush. Two on one. Spokane is looking to break out of their own end. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Slides the puck to Martinez. And he passes it up ahead to Savage. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Here's a chance behind the net. And they can't connect. Centering pass. Scores! The captain delivers. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. zone and we are back underway play whistle dead offside the call biscuit knees frustrates attackers by disrupting their passing plays guys that's her quick pick zone ability and the key is getting a good stick on the ice biscuit knees picks up the puck 
Scooped up along the wall by Fowler. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, that penalty call might be it for them, James. I, I mean, they got to kill the penalty. I just don't think they've got enough time to get back in the game. Man advantage unit steps inside the face-off circle with another golden opportunity in this critical time of the game. Power play looks great, but they've got to get inside those defensemen, fight for a rebound. Can't get it to go. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. And a good heads up to... Here's a breakaway! Final horn sounds bringing this one to a close. Ray was kind of a bold challenge, but they were ready for it, I guess. Well, we, we wondered if they were, and the way that they played this game, it was pretty clear they were ready for this.